Here we have Nina's first swim. So here we can see the arm dropping. You keep the other arm out a little bit, but we need to hold it out there longer. <coughs> Some over rotation here. So here's the update. This was just taken. So you're starting to get that two arms out front. Really nice improvement. You'll notice I'm breathing though that arm drops all the way through. So we'll just watch this arm. And you can see that the hips stack. So that means that you're rotating to 90 degrees as you go for air. And that arm drops down. So what we're looking for, we also see that you're not blowing out underwater. So something that can help um, make you feel relaxed is to continually let some of that air out. I notice you're not taking a, a lot of time to breathe in, so you're probably expelling it closer to when you go to breathe in. Uh, here above the water, head's coming up on breathing, so that's from that arm dropping down. So the way to fix this here is just hold that arm out and allow your head to relax into the water. Lift your chin up and let your head be supported by the water. This is going to allow you to keep that arm out front and there will be a lot less work on breathing. When the water holds your head, you can just relax more. So the recovery stroke looks good here. from the front. See here we go. This arm stays out and drops through and drops through. So in the update we're going to see this arm actually stay out until the other one's in. So you've made some nice changes from the last time we videoed. And here's the update. So I'm breathing, the arm drops through, otherwise it's staying out nicely. Head position's nice here. I would like to see your hands aiming in front of the shoulders instead of in front of the head. That's going to give you a bit more stability and also keep you from over-rotating as much. So good changes, good work.